If you've set up a home network before, or you've had your internet service provider do it for you, you've undoubtedly heard the terms modem and router. With that said, these terms often come with a lot of confusion. Many people don't understand what these devices do and whether or not you need both of them for your home network. Well, you're in luck because today I'm going to demystify all that. In today's episode from Network From Home, we're gonna be breaking down the difference between your modem and your router. And we're also going to be answering the question, do you need both of them in your home network? We're going to start with your modem today. Your modem honestly is pretty straightforward. It's a very simple device. When you hear the term modem, I want you to associate your modem with your internet connection. The whole purpose of your modem is to establish a connection with your internet service provider. To put it another way, your modem's sole purpose is to bring internet from the street to your home. And that's it, once it's done that, all it needs to do is maintain that connection between your house and your internet service provider so your devices can use that connection to send data to and from the internet. Conversely, your router is the brains of the operation. With your modem taking care of your internet connection with your internet service provider, that allows your router to focus on other much more important things. What does this mean? This means your router is responsible for broadcasting Wi-Fi networks to your home. In other words, your router is the reason why you have wireless networks to begin with. It also provides IP addresses to the devices in your home network, so that way it knows what devices to send data to when it receives it from the internet. To go hand in hand with that responsibility, your router is also responsible for ensuring that a request sent from one device in your home network receives that response to that request. So if you have, say, five devices making requests to the internet at the same time, your router is sorting all that data out. It's saying, okay, I received this request from device one. I need to make sure that when that response comes back, that response comes back to device one. If it wasn't for your router, it'd be a total mess. Your devices would be receiving responses to requests that they didn't send. Say one device wants to navigate to google.com. Well, if another one is sending a request for yahoo.com, if it wasn't for your router, the wrong device could receive the wrong website. To tie it all together, your modem's main focus is establishing a connection with your internet service provider. And your router's responsibility is making sure that requests that are sent to the internet and are received from the internet make it to the right location. Okay, if this doesn't make total sense to you just yet, or you still have some questions, I have an analogy that will help you hopefully sort this all out. Okay, so in this analogy, let's pretend we have a delivery person at a distribution center. This could be FedEx, it could be Amazon, whatever distribution center you want it to be, that's just fine. Okay, so this delivery person at the distribution center, every day this person receives packages and it's their responsibility to get the packages to their final destination. They pick up these packages from the distribution center and they deliver them to the final destination. As I'm sure you've seen, these delivery people, they get little tablets with maps on them telling them the optimal route for delivering their packages and also identifying what packages go where. So in this example, for our delivery person, that little tablet with the map and the route on it, that's your router. That's essentially the brains of this package delivery system. It basically does all the work for the delivery person. It tells the person what route to follow, what's the optimal route, and what packages to drop off along the way. As you might have guessed, in this analogy, the packages are your data. So in your home network, when you have devices send a request to the internet, that request is sent out via data packet. It's a packet of data that goes to the internet, and then when the internet responds to it, there's another packet of data that serves as the response that makes it back to that device that made the original request. Okay, you with me so far? Let's take it a step further. Okay, so as you might have guessed, the delivery man has a delivery truck. 
This delivery truck allows packages to be delivered to areas outside of the region that this person would be able to deliver packages to if they didn't have a delivery truck. Without a delivery truck, they'd be stuck delivering packages in the local area, only the area they'd be able to access by foot. So in this analogy, the delivery truck is your modem. As I mentioned before, your modem provides your home with access to the internet so that way you can send data to areas that you wouldn't be able to if you didn't have an internet connection and a modem in place. So what would that look like? Let's say you didn't have a modem. In this analogy, this means the delivery person doesn't have a delivery truck for their packages. So what does it mean? It means they can only deliver packages in the local area that they can reach by foot. The equivalent of this is if you don't have a modem in your home network, your router can only coordinate communications between the devices in your home network. In other words, any devices connected to your home network, they'll be able to send communications and send data packages to each other, but they won't be able to send data packages to the larger internet because they don't have that modem connection. Okay, so this analogy might have answered this question for you already, but let's get to the burning question in mind. Do you need both a modem and router in your home network? And the answer to that question is pretty simple. If you want to be able to access the internet on your home network, which most people do, you will need both a modem and a router. Again, as you'll recall, that modem is that delivery truck. It's what allows your devices to send these packages to the internet. It gives you that internet connection. If you don't have a modem, you don't have a connection to the internet, which means your router can coordinate communications between any devices connected to your home network, but those devices won't be able to reach to the internet because they don't have a connection. Okay, if any of this is still a bit murky for you, I'd love to get your feedback in the comments section. If you have any questions about the responsibilities of your modem and router, I'd love to hear them so I can help you out. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. This is a topic that is misunderstood or not really understood at all by many people and liking this video will ensure it gets shared out with others who will benefit from this information as well. And lastly, if you like the videos and you like the material that I make videos on, please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you along for the ride as I continue to provide more tips and tricks for your home network. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next one.